Welcome to the Radio Shopping Show, the most amazing show on the radio. The Radio Shopping Show is a fun and unique way to save 40, 50, 60 percent or even more on travel destinations, family or fine dining, entertainment, auto services, plus thousands of other items. To participate on the Radio Shopping Show, simply call area code 847-931-1410. 931-1410. Questions about various merchandise and how to shop with us are welcome as well. Or go to our website, wwwwrmn 1410.com. Now, let's save money with the Radio Shopping Show. And good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to the Radio Shopping Show. This is Leah, Matt, and I are doing tag team. We're like a good drill team on the track field. You know, we're handing off that baton to the next person coming on in. And ditto on that because we do have some friends joining us uh, all day long today. Next in studio, we happen to have Miss Sarah. And I have to say, uh, as part of the Downtown Neighborhood Association, I you are such a bright light and such a... Uh, vision. And I'm not just saying that to talk smack. You know, there's just, there's an energy. There's a bubble of energy about you. Oh, and so they've got the right person in the position for sure. That's so nice. Thank you so much. <laughs> I I love downtown Elgin. I did not grow up around here. I grew up near Peoria, Illinois. And I um, started, I went to Judson University and I didn't really spend too much time in downtown Elgin when I was at Judson. But after I graduated, I started walking around down here and I was like, there's so much here and it feels like home to me. Like it just, I, I just slid in and it felt like a warm hug when I came into downtown Elgin. Felt like and, a neighborhood. Right. A mm-hmm. very tight knit neighborhood. It's the biggest small town that you'll ever live in is like what everyone around here says it is. And it's so true. Like you just walk into the coffee shop, you walk into Dream Hall, you drop in, walk into uh, Blue Box, Sugar and Rhyme. You see everybody that you know. Mm-hmm. You walk in to any of the other restaurants. You see, oh, I know you and I know you. And you sit and you chat with somebody for 30 minutes or something. And then you get up and go. And it's like this feels just so warm and welcoming. And it's never felt like not the right choice for me. And we're we're, we're blessed. We get to be the on the good end of that deal. So we're happy to have you here. How long have you been with the DNA? Uh, this will be my... Third year. I started there. Well, this will be my third year running the market. I started in 2022. In 2022. Yep. So after uh, the pandemic, and it, most people might be familiar with what was previously known as the um, downtown farmer's market. Mm-hmm. And we'll talk about that again. I know that we had you, I had you in studio because I wanted to talk about uh, uh, the change because they had announced that. Right. And um, how did that go over? How was that received? It was so awesome. Everyone loves the new logo and the new name. It's uh, kind of more encapsulating of what we offer to the public and everyone. Carrie Lou, she redid our logo. And I'm not sure if you guys know the Gen City. She's the person that has her um, Instagram and she's been doing a lot of the logos for the downtown Elgin logo that we have and then also for the market. And she's kind of all around downtown Elgin. If you look, you'll see her stuff, but she's amazing. And it's been a beautiful logo and everyone has been really excited about it. Which is great. And that's the whole point of it. Yeah, you know, absolutely. It's something from that you can have from a kickoff and announcement. And uh, like I said, j- the way that it's set up, I, I love the whole play out of it. Now, that is actually getting ready for the downtown market, which is going to be spending. I was talking with Sarah a little bit before, and I said, how is it? To me, it's like prime property mm-hmm. to host a market. Right. And I thought, how? I even asked her, I said, how is it that you were able to get by with having it right there because it's, you get the pastor, even people who are just doing their daily walks or the bikes or is just a key location. And it's so pretty, right? You know, beautiful. We have that wind from the river coming down and like the sun's always setting and it's always so picturesque with it behind you. And, um, it's just a great place to have it. We have, you know, all of the restaurants that lead off back there. We have side street that's going to be taken over that 62 South Grove and we have El Patio and we're going to have a chocolate and churro coming back there soon. The Elgin community bikes. So excited. Have you ever had a Chaco and churro? (sighs) 
Churros and chocolate. Churros it'll, and chocolate. Yeah, yeah. it looks uh-huh. it looks amazing. You won't I be able it. to go back to anything else after I know. all one of them. They're so good. I know. I'm like, oh man, it's so close to the office. It's gonna be dangerous. <laughs> but that's the other thing I wanted to mention before we actually talk a little bit more detail about the market. Is I even asked you when you got in here. I said, boy, I saw a sign up there that says "Coming Soon Shawarma," mm-hmm. and you might be seeing a lot of these downtown Elgin. Right boards that they have, kind of like poster boards that are up in various windows. Yep. It seems like we're having this big growth spurt yes, we right are. now. Yeah, we have six new uh, six new businesses that are coming in right now. So we have the shawarma step that's going to be coming across the way here. Your, your churros and chocolate is dangerous. Shawarma is going to be ch- dangerous for me right across the street. Well. <laughs> yeah, and then we have um, Royal Plant Care. They're going to be up on National Street. Mm-hmm. And we have... Um, a yoga studio that's going to be coming up and what do you think has caused that kind of growth because i felt like we were kind of sitting idle almost for about six nine months there don't you yeah so i mean so i mean that dna is doing a kick butt job getting uh, <laughs> the, the well, reason for people to come here downtown elgin is such a little gem in itself that when you walk around here you kind of just meet the people and you learn how much that downtown elgin loves it's town like it yeah it comes it's a community thing that people just want to be a part of and it's we've been working really hard with a bunch of like the city and our other partners and um, the Elgin area chamber as well to just kind of create those opportunities and we've seen that like flourish and people just want to you know make Elgin home I think I think you hit the nail right on the head there I think that you said that people will you could be because I'll see people walking by looking at buildings. You could tell they're investigating and looking for maybe a future brick and mortar for themselves. Right. And you'll just start a conversation with them. Right. You know, I mean, that, and that's the whole point. When somebody feels like, you know, I just really felt at home there. Like right. you knew it's the right spot. Mm-hmm. I always equate it to like when they have the wedding dress, okay? That dress that you try on, you know, it's the one you can try on 50 other ones, but right. you're going to go back to that one. Right. It's that kind of feeling that mm-hmm. people are getting. So I'm excited. And again, if you're seeing some of those at some of the logo that you're talking mm-hmm. about that yep. you were mentioning a little bit earlier. So let's move into, again, a little bit back to Riverside Drive uh, as part of our Elgin destination talk today and talk because the downtown Elgin market is going to be kicking off its heels in just a few weeks. June 7th from 3 to 8 on South Riverside Drive. And it's going to be staying the same time or is it going to be extended hours or different hours? So for this year we are extending it in summertime so from June 7th to August 30th it's going to be from 3 to 8 p.m. because you know it's going to be lighter lighter lighter, darker that's Mm -hmm. the more nice weather and we had a lot of people on our survey say it would be great if it would be open just a little bit longer so that way we could come down after work and we were like okay let's try it out for summer hours from three to eight in the you know june through august and then in september we'll go back to three to seven until october 11th because it gets darker and colder during that times and we don't right But again, I think I think those later hours is going to be twofold is the right. excitement on there because then it is going to allow people a little opportunity to go around and maybe go to the market and then right. maybe hit one of the great restaurants right. or events or activities yeah. that's coming on. That's a cool thing too about Side Street Studio mm-hmm. having over that way. Mm-hmm. You know, there's just there's so many perks on it. It's right. exciting. How many people have you got people signed up for this year, or if so, how many? Uh, right now, I'm looking at. 55 and we are always looking for more people we our goal is 70 so if you want to join us head on down to downtown elgin dot com slash market and that has our application there so we, we're always looking for new and exciting things okay so i'm going to bring that up on the board here really quickly so mm-hmm. if you are going i'm going to just look at your screen folks mm-hmm. if you wish go to the screen if you scroll down so here's the top page you'll see with the logo on here you're going to scroll on down i have to do it with my cursor otherwise my screen jumps so you're going to scroll on down you'll see market guidelines mm-hmm. vendor facts you know faqs stuff like that mm-hmm. so if you click on that application live they'll be able to do it there and then that directs it right to you yep and what is there qualifiers not qualifiers because i know sometimes we'll go to an event like you start talking about a rummage sale or a craft fair or mm-hmm. things like that that they'll kind of jury different businesses so right. you don't get all of the same jewelry makers right. there or something like that yeah. how does that work with uh, downtown elgin market well we always like to get photos and i uh, facebook or an instagram or something like that so i can you see, do your like, homework i do my homework and then i also if you are at other markets i sometimes i just go and 
pop up and see kind of what your stuff is. If you have something that's interesting, something that we don't usually have, um, that's kind of what we're looking for is just something different and new, handmade or, um, you know, just different. Mm -hmm. I like things that have a story behind it. Right. I think exactly. that's what made it fun when we were out there last mm -hmm. year is uh, everybody has their story to tell. Right. It might just be, you know, everybody's passionate about what their product is, but when there's stories that are behind it, right. you know, my, my mom started this years ago and I took over, or you start having conversations and, and even um, the vendors that they had over there, I've, I've kept in contact with some of them right. even longer than just knowing them just from the, right. the market, which is cool. We have the best vendors around. I might be a little I, biased, but I honestly believe that we have the best vendors around. <laughs> I do again, but I think again, I think that just feeds off of the Elgin area. It feeds off of you doing what you do and welcoming people to this area. And maybe some of those vendors too might have been the people that walked around and saw these open spaces mm -hmm. and said, wait a minute, there's a chance to have a, you know, a brick and mortar downtown. Right. So um, of the vendors that are there, do they do it every week? Do people have to commit to every week or oh, how no. is it that they set up their schedule? Because I know you said some of them are at right. other markets. Yeah. So we, we have an option for you to be there full season, which is 19 to 20 days, depending on, we had a leap year this year, so now we have 19. Um, but you can do every other week, you can pay as you go, you can do once a month, whatever fits in your schedule. Like we understand you guys have lives, you have other markets, you have things that you have to do. We don't want to make it seem like it's a prison that you have to yeah, do. Yeah. Uh -huh. Like, well, you don't want, you want it to be enjoyable right. for them too, right. you know, because exactly. half of that comes through on what their presentation is to the, the walkers by. And that's your market. You have clients through the vendors, but you also then are, you know, you want to make sure that the people right. that are coming to the market, it's kind of like a radio shopping show. We have businesses that we work with, but we also have listeners who shop with those businesses. Yeah. So you're the connector, mm -hmm. right? So you have to, that all has to go hand in hand and fit right. perfectly together. <laughs> the other thing I was asking, so then is it because you never, you probably do you know the schedule, what it could be? Or do you see sometimes people just pop up? Obviously, it's got to be a first come, first serve when it comes to where they're going to be positioned. Yeah, it's first come, first serve because of just how narrow that road is. Right. And we have to have space for an emergency vehicle to be able to come through. So that's why we do, you know, first come, first serve. You load in and that's your spot for the day. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, it works and it, they usually get around their normal area, normal area, mm -hmm. but they usually show up about the same time. So it all works. Out. They know the gig by now, <laughs> yeah, they right? Know the, yeah. Yeah. Uh, again, we're talking with Sarah. She is here with the Downtown Neighborhood Association. One thing I also wanted to mention when it comes to applications. So if you are still, you are still looking for some vendors. So if you are interested and uh, want to be a part of that, certainly you can go on to the website. It's downtownelgin.com forward slash market. Mm -hmm easy to find. You just right. scroll down a little bit and you'll find out more about the application. Mm -hmm. Now you mentioned it's going to be running during the summer months right. from three until eight. Have you ever um, considered, because I remember we've been since, as long as I've been here, we've been going to the market. Right. So I remember it was over by Gail Borden. I remember it was up on Spring Street. I, and I thought for some reason in my head, I feel at some point it was up by the church. I'm not really sure, but in the very, very, like 13 years ago. That was before my time. Yeah, it was before, well, it was pretty much <laughs> before my time. I, I think it was, I hadn't started working with the, the market yet. Mm -hmm. So, but in Anyway, the, the point was is that it was going to different locations, which I understand, and it seems like now they have got, you know, a wonderful home and great people like you behind it. Uh, when it, it was up at the on Spring Street, it just so happened it was a situation that they were doing construction mm -hmm. that led you down to the river right. anyway, right? Yeah, that's why we didn't want to be in their way. They're making that space over there beautiful. Uh, the courtyard is gonna be awesome once that's done and the road right now is under construction as well. So we didn't wanna be in the way of that. Right. We didn't wanna have to work around it. So we moved it to Riverside Drive just to help with that. <laughs> yeah, but honestly, it was probably the best uh, upgrade ever. Yeah, you know, the unexpected upgrade, but right. we knew it was pretty and everybody's seen the lights at night and seen mm -hmm. how pretty it is. But just even walking through there, you're right, you get a nice breeze. Mm -hmm. So when it's hot outside, you get that breeze that just runs along the river and right. it helps cool it down. I think we were there on one of the hottest days yep. <laughs> last year, if I remember correctly. Yep. Yeah, yep. Um, but still, like I said, you just got a little bit of that respite. Right. Are there any... Um, things that we can expect to see yes. this year that are new? Can you tell oh us a little bit about gosh. it or so give us a sneak peek? We have so many new things this year. It's going to be awesome. So the first one is the new name, uh -huh. Downtown Elgin Market. Uh -huh. We also have the new hours from June 7th until August 30th from 3 p.m. until 8 p.m. Okay. And then starting in September through October 11th, 3 to 7. Okay. And this year we are doing fun little pop-up markets with other organizations with 
in uh, conjunction with the city and other um, other folks that are going to add more to the market. So just for example, on June 14th, we are... I feel like I'm like, the second, <laughs> I got to take my notes down. here. <laughs> okay, yeah. For June 14th, we are partnering with the city and Culture 5 for a Juneteenth celebration. So there are going to be um, Black-owned businesses that are going to be focused on that, and they're going to be popped up in that closest parking lot to the market, not the big one, that, but the smaller one sure. closest mm-hmm. to um, there. And south gonna, side of it. Yeah, south side. Yep. Mm-hmm. So they're going to have um, music and food truck, and then I'm going to have a mariachi band coming that day as well. So we're highlighting that on June 14th. Okay. And then July 19th, we're having the Elgin Glow event, where this is kind of more of an after-hour fun so we're going to have Elgin Community Bikes. They're going to be doing a ride after the market where they're going to have all of their participants have lights on their bikes. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be kind of more of like a bar crawl. So they're going to lead people <laughs> to the bars. We're follow gonna, me. Yeah, follow me. And we're going to have a DJ. And we're going to have the city come out. And they're going to bring the skating ramps out there, too. There's going to be like disco music and rollerblading. And that's the 19th. That's 19th. the one to mark down. That's fun. And again, remember, these are all Fridays, guys. Great. All mm-hmm. Fridays. August 3rd, we're going to be... Um, oh wait. So wait, now, as you're doing this and you're looking yes. at, how is it that... Because this, first of all, I happen to know that running a farmer's market like this is an extreme job. You know, it's yeah. not for the light of heart, faint right. of heart, right? So by bringing in these little elements mm-hmm. to it, that just means that's carrying more things and more things and more things on your job. So that's a hard gig. So obviously there are team members and people like that that are helping you out. Right. So we are partnering with other organizations. So Culture 5 is going to be the person that it's like a combination where I'm running the like market and then Culture 5 is also going to be bringing in extra vendors and they're going to be kind of heading up that little pop-up market. And But we're working together to make it, a big market. Got it. Got it. Yep. No, that makes sense. So it's, you know, the power in numbers, you know what I mean? You got two advertising means for it, all that. So it goes hand in hand. Okay. So we've got the 14th again is a culture. You're going to do the culture drive. That's uh, with music and food truck. July 19th is Elgin glow, which is going to be great fun. And what was after that? August 2nd, we are going to be partnering with side street studio arts because they have their area 22 arts, crafts and oddities fair on August third okay so on the august 2nd we're going to be having art fest at the market where we're going to be inviting more artists to the market and be able to do a little pop-up with um odd ball arts yep yeah i've seen them i've seen them down there before because that's the other thing um just to do a little insert here is that they uh, the market usually has either Maybe it might have coloring or activity Mm -hmm. table for the kids, or it might have somebody playing music and musician that might be coming and just adding a little ambiance extra to that. So that maybe the people, well, and I think it's neat because it, uh, it, first of all, it entertains, especially when you're, if you're a mom coming in with the kids, it entertains a little bit so you can go around and chat some things. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, And that's just something that that's something that's always been a part of it, but I think it's now pretty something a little bit more programmed, not just a matter of somebody showing up. Right. Right. Yeah, it's something that just to make it to kick off your weekend. Yeah. Start your weekend on Friday night in downtown Elgin with all of these cool things at the market and then, you know, head over to the bars afterward. The next day, oh, there's a festival happening. Make your whole weekend in downtown Elgin. That is Elgin. That's right. That's Elgin specific. You got it. Okay, so the second, any other any other ones? Um, August 30th, we are going to be working with Love on the Lawn organization. So Love on the Lawn is a house and... Um, EDM music organization that has a music festival on the September 1st through downtown and they're going to be bringing down you know all of these artists and all EDM this music. by the way I think is electric dance yes. music right so yes. so people who don't know House what that music, is so it's music mm-hmm. right so they're going to be down here for Love on the Lawn on September 1st that Saturday I mm-hmm. believe that's the September 1st. Yep. And then that night before, they're going to be bringing in some vendors from their festival and popping up at the market so they can get some extra face time with all of the participants and the patrons down here. Awesome. And also bringing some of their like music talent down here, too. So we're going to have some fun down here okay. as well. And then one more. 
Okay. September 13th, we are again working with the I have to turn the page. That's so much. I, I have to turn the page, Sarah. Okay, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and then on September 13th, we're working with the city again for Hispanic Heritage Week. So we're going to have additional vendors, a surprise music guest, chef demos, and it's going to all work with the celebration from El Grito festivities that are going to be happening at, is, in the yeah, city. Yeah, I was going to say, because that is there, that's the following Saturday, yep. Sunday, right? And it I know is. it's a two-day event this yep. year, correct? Mm -hmm. So what a great kickoff again. So mark your calendars for those special dates. Of course, I'm sure all that information is up on the website if you yes. want to go to downtownelgin.com forward slash markets. Sarah Michaels, I have to say, I just think you are awesome. I think, um, I no, I truly do. You, you, Nobody likes hearing, you know, taking on that kind of compliment. But in working with you in, um, like I said, sometimes it's just a matter of having that extra kind of spunk and energy. You know, you're the perfect person behind the task. And sometimes you don't, not sometimes, most of the time, you don't get the front runner organizer. And if you see this girl running around, just tell, just pull her aside and just say, you know what, thank you. Because <laughs> Uh, she hustles when those markets are on she hustles so and again if you want to be a vendor and you have something that you think would be perfect for the downtown Elgin market you can go to the website Sarah I want to say thank um, you so much thank you so much again for having me uh, June 7th come on down special thanks to our presenting sponsor Ascension uh, St. Joseph they are they've been our friends for a very long time and we really appreciate them coming back down to the market and uh, just presenting and being on in our corner honestly you guys are awesome thank you thank you so much all right Sarah we're going to be back again with more radio shopping show thanks to Sarah for joining us and again it's the downtown Elgin market take it uh, on your calendar put a little marker on it put it on your phone a reminder that the seventh is going to be there I you know what I just can't wait I, I had the opportunity to go out to the camper this weekend and I cannot wait to just have vegetables from the market yep. that I can take up and grill over the week. Fresh things again. Yes. You get pampered by having yes. to buy store stuff when you got all of this fresh stuff waiting. Yep. It's, there's fresh no local. combination. Yep. Down. Again, and support. That's the other great thing we can do is support a lot of those local small business owners. All right. Uh, thanks, Sarah. We're going to be back with more Radio Shopping Show after these. This is Leah signing off for now. Matt's coming up on the other side. Come see the only train-themed restaurant.